I told her that we can move slowly toward the dreams to help her build super confidence and and that felt good to her. Going Inside is a podcast on a mission to help people heal from trauma and reconnect with their authentic self. Join me, trauma therapist John Clark, for guest interviews, real-life therapy sessions, and soothing guided meditations. Whether you're navigating your own trauma, helping others heal from trauma, or simply yearning for a deeper understanding of yourself, Going Inside is your companion on the path to healing and self-discovery. Download free guided meditations and apply to work with me one-on-one at johnclarktherapy.com. Thanks for being here. Let's dive in. Welcome back and thanks for doing this again. You bet. No, thank you so much for helping me out. I am yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, so we chatted a little bit before um, hitting record and I know you have a few different thoughts about where we could kind of go. Um, yeah, maybe you can just think out loud for a second. Let me know what's feeling top of mind, whether it's yeah. whether or not it's connected to last session is okay. Um, okay. Yeah, let me know what's going on. Yeah, so I last session we talked about like me, you know, shutting down every day. And I'm like, you know, my thoughts were like, oh, I hate my job. I'm shutting down every day. It's like, gotta be my job. But like, honestly, I feel like that really shifted like from our session, like my perspective. And I'm like, I feel like I haven't been hating my job as much like since, you know, we had that like part interaction with the part of me who did feel trapped at my job. But like now I'm still shutting down and I just think, and there's like, you know, a lot of external things actually going on, a lot of things falling apart, a lot of things, you know, kind of blowing up in my world and it's bringing up a lot of things for me. And my response has been to just yeah. numb out and shut down. And I, I feel it in my stomach and I want to like hunch over and my symptoms are still very much like freeze response. Like I feel like I can't breathe sometimes. I... Um, you know, I don't have energy. Like if my water bottle is out of water, I don't have the energy to go up and fill it. I just like, Oh, I guess I'm out of water. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, maybe you can help me with, you know, this like numbness and this shutting down response that, you know, there are the external factors, but I think a lot of it is like just exasperating what was already there. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Well, one, one invitation I want to put out there is rather than us trying to kind of like figure it out or draw connections between this and that, um, we just want to see if we can identify parts of you that need our help today. Okay. And so with everything going on, um, you mentioned a bunch of external things going on. Maybe just start by turning the attention inside and just see what happens. You mentioned that sensation in your stomach that you're aware of. Just mm-hmm. see if you if you're able to go inside, what else you notice. Do you want me to close my eyes for this part? Up to you. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't know if we were going there yet. Okay. We can, yeah. yeah. If it if that feels okay. good, go for it. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like my whole like, like torso just wants to like concave forward. Like I just feel like hunched and like, I just like want to like always have a pillow on my, my belly or a blanket. Um, the feeling of emptiness is kind of there, but sometimes even that gets numbed out. Okay. Yeah. So you might just start by putting your hands on your stomach where you would want to put that pillow. And just see what you notice or if you were to imagine that your hands have ears or are ears. See if you can just kind of shift into a posture of listening with your hands. I feel like the the phrase like I'm just so unhappy is coming up. I'm unhappy. Yeah, I'm just so unhappy. Yeah. Like 
like nothing about my life feels like authentic to me. Um, and that I'm just so like small. I just feel so small. I'm not doing any of the things I, I really want to be doing. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'm so small. Yeah, see if you can go toward the part of you that feels small. Yeah, I feel like almost like the imagery that comes to mind is like an Alice in Wonderland when she's like the tiny person and she's in a room with like all the big furniture and and um yeah, like I just want to like go out and live my dreams, but like I just feel kind of like crammed maybe into like a smaller space even too. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I just want you to take your time here and all we're doing is listening to what's here. Okay. And who's here. And just trying to get a sense for, yeah, again, which part most needs our help. So just take your time kind of okay, exploring that and feel free to narrate out loud what you're noticing or if there's multiple parts that you're okay. noticing. I feel like there's also like a part that's just feels really invisible. Yeah. Yeah, that feels um that feels very prominent that you know okay. that I'm just not really being seen by anyone. Okay, does it feel alright to go toward that one? The one that feels invisible? Yeah, it does. Let me know how you experience that part. What does it look like, sound like? Where is it in or around your body? I feel like I'm like sitting on a park bench and like the imagery that's coming up is that I'm like, bleeding like my arms are like bleeding and then people are just like walking by okay that's um imagery wise that's that's kind of what it feels like okay <clears throat> okay so one idea would be to try to step into that image seeing this part sitting on a on a bench with their arms bleeding Right. Is there another See idea? Can, or do you want me to try to do that? Um, that's the only idea I have for now. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said there were two. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let me try to step in. Okay, I can step in. And it needs to be through my eyes, right? Yeah, we want <clears throat> we want you to see this part through your eyes, not through another part. Okay. I feel like I'm like the only one who's like seeing her and being like, wow, like why is no one else helping? Okay. Yeah, got it. And is she aware of you? We're making eye contact, but she's like frozen. Like she's like kind of the part that's like numb too. She is numb. Okay. She can't speak. How are you feeling? How are you feeling toward her? I'm so concerned and still like baffled okay. that no one is doing anything. Okay. So send that feeling of concern to her. See if you can send it directly to her and see how she reacts. She's like kind of 
like nodding. She's kind of looking down at like the the blood like gushing out of her arms um, mm. as well, but she still can't see anything. Okay, got it. Can you help her with the bleeding? Can you just offer to help her? Does she, does she want that? Yeah, she's she's receiving my my concern and and she sees that I want to help. Okay. Yeah, I can like wrap the arms up in in towels. Yeah, so try that and see how she reacts. Okay. I asked her how long she's been there and she's still not speaking, but I am sensing it's been a long time. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I want you to zoom out for a second and I want you to just ask inside as a general question if any parts have concerns about you getting to know her or about doing this session or about me or about being recorded, any of that. I feel like there's almost like a, a man stepping in and saying, you have no right to be here. I don't know what that's about. Okay. See if you can turn your focus to that man and ask him more about that. You don't have a right to be here. He's like very angry and he's saying that he's he's going to take care of it. Oh, okay. But I don't really trust him. Okay, yeah, you don't trust him. Can can he tell you more about why he doesn't want you here or doesn't want you with her? just keeps saying I'm handling it and like he just seems very possessive over her and it doesn't make oh, sense because okay. he's clearly not doing anything about it okay yeah how you feeling toward him I'm just sad for the girl Okay. Yeah. Because she deserves to be taken care of, but he's clearly has some tie to her that he, and he's not not doing anything about it. So I don't really got it. I don't really know how to handle him. Okay. I I want you to see if you can access some curiosity toward him, and take your time with this. It might. It might take a moment to find that and even check in with how you're feeling physically. Are you feeling open, spacious, curious? Are you feeling tense, annoyed, scared, anything? I feel a little bit more open, a little bit more spacious. Yeah. Um, which is good. I... This guy's just afraid of being belittled. Like he doesn't oh, want to admit... Good. He doesn't want to admit that he doesn't know what he's doing, but I can tell he doesn't know what he's doing. Got it. Okay. Can, can you let him know that you're not going to belittle him? I said I'm just going to, you know, help her and see if there's anything I can do. I'm not trying to replace you. I yeah. think he softened a little, but he still like doesn't really want me to go near her. Okay. C can you ask him if he's willing to step into a separate room with you? And you can tell the one on the bench that you'll 
you're not going to forget about her. We're going to come right back to her. Yeah. Yeah, so bring him into another room. Okay. And either you can be in the same room with him, or if it's easier, you can be on the outside of the room speaking to him through a window, a screen, whatever feels right. Yeah, we can we can stand in the same room together. It's okay. Okay. Could could you try sitting near each other or across from each other? Yeah, we can sit across from each other where he's cordial. Yeah, thank him for that. And then maybe just, if you're feeling open to him, just ask him what he wants you to know. He said she's been through a lot and doesn't need any other people in her life that could mess anything up. Got it. Okay, does that make sense to you? I felt a physiological shift with that. Yeah. Okay. Just let him know that you get that. She's been through a lot. Do you know what he's talking about when he says she's been through a lot? No, I don't. Okay. Ask him what he's referring to and he can, you can tell me if you want, or he can just share that with you privately. Okay. In fact, it might be best for him to share it with you privately. Okay. He gave me some insight, but he did say again that he's just like not willing to let anybody in to her life again. Yeah. That could. Okay. That could hurt her. And it hasn't been the yeah. first time that someone has offered to help and then they've messed it up and hurt her more. Okay, got it. Can he tell you about that? He said, still a very, in a very, you know, enthusiastic and, and uh, just like in a very um, determined tone that, you know, this isn't the first time that someone has tried to come in and offer to help and, you know, convince me that she, that they can help her. And then they they hurt her more. Now she's on the ground and bleeding, and and she can't move. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Let it, let them know that you get that. What's happening in your body now? My body still feels open. And, and pretty ready to, to press further. I think um, what I want to say to him next is that, like, I can assure you that this time will be different. Yeah, let me know how he reacts to that. His whole energy shifted. He like wants to believe me. Yeah, okay. I think he's in the process of of being convinced that I actually can really help her. Yeah, totally. Well, that makes sense that he's hesitant. Yeah. So one option is if, if we do go back to her that he comes with us 
to help out or supervise or consult with us. Yeah, let me ask him if he wants to do that. He said, you know, you can be right there with me as I as I show you how I'm gonna help her. And he like he he's still cautious, but he agreed to that. Okay. All right, thank him for that. Yeah. C can you ask him how old he is? Fifty nine. Okay, and, and how old does he think you are? 24. Okay. Can you update him a little bit on your life? Let him know what's going on where you live, where you work, who's in your life. You could even let him know about this work that we're doing right here and why we're doing it. He feels a little bit more comfortable with me now. I told him I'm actually 27. Yeah. Yeah, see how he reacts to that. He's so he's still a little skeptical, but he's willing. Yeah. Okay. Can can he tell you more about how he got this job of protecting her? He said he's been there since I when since that girl was like a little girl. Oh wow. Yeah. And that she kept getting hurt and so he needed to to step in. Got it. Okay. Can he tell you about the first time he had to step in? He doesn't remember. Mm. Yeah. The playground Don't comes to mind. The... Yeah. Okay. He said he can't really remember. Okay. Yeah. I want to give him a hug. You can see if you can offer that and see if he accepts. He said no, he doesn't trust me yet. Yeah, okay. Can you ask him what would need to happen in order for him to, to trust you or even to trust you 1% more? Just that I really am who I say I am. He needs to know that I really am who I say I am and that my intentions are actually my intentions okay yeah to help. yeah yeah and ask him how you could prove that <laughs> he asked if i had any weapons on me and i said no Okay. And I think that made him feel a little a little better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, any other questions that he wants to ask you like that? Or to assess your safety or trustworthiness?
he said, okay, I, I believe you. You can, you can help me with her now. He trusts me. Okay. All right. Thank him for that. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell he's like gotten a lot softer and that he actually has no idea what he's doing and he really needs help with her. Yeah. Okay. In that case, tell him help is here. He feels really supported now, which is yeah, makes me feel good, and it, I can tell it makes him feel good. Great. Okay. Okay. Now, does he want to come with you back to the girl, or does he want to stay where he is, or does he want to go somewhere entirely different, or come into he the wants, present with you? He wants to come with me. He um. He still wants to help, but he just needs guidance. Okay. Is that something you can offer him? Yeah. Yeah, I can I can help him help her too. She needs a, a lot of help. I think having another person would be good. Okay, great. So then if it feels okay, go go back to the girl on the bench. Okay. Let's see if you get a sense as to what to do next with her or how to help her. Right now we're just like covering her arms with the bandages and like propping up her head. And like covering her with a blanket and like, I kind of brought her into my lap and I'm just kind of like rocking her back and forth. Yeah, great, okay. Yeah, so just stay with that for as long as she needs. She's like starting to pick up her breath a little bit. Like almost yeah, like a, like a, like a hyperventilating. Okay, yeah, so you might help her with that or see if her breath can match yours. Kind of just like pulled her in a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just feels completely helpless or looks completely helpless. Okay. Ask her if she wants to stay here or does she want to go somewhere else? She wants to stay right there. Okay, does she, is she ready to tell you about what happened or why she's bleeding? She's starting to cry. Yeah, how are you feeling toward her? I feel so bad for her. Yeah, just so send her that. She's like actually ready to sit up now. Okay, yeah, help her do that. The guy kind of helps me, the man helps me with that a little bit, but he's mostly just watching. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's still just like really crying. I'm just holding her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so just keep giving her what she needs. Yeah, I'll give it like one second. We could just stay here for a second. Yeah, great. Yeah, 
So I'm giving her a tissue. She's like blowing her nose and she's like kind of nodding as to say like, thank you. Like, thank you for, for helping me. Mm. I asked her again how she got here and she said that someone just dumped her off there. Oh, okay. Does she want to tell you more about that or what happened before that? Or who it was? She just said there were people that couldn't deal with me anymore, deal with her anymore. Okay, and why couldn't they deal with her anymore? I said I was too, or she was too, um, too much, and too loud, and had too many needs. Okay. Is she too much for you? No, not at all. Okay, let her know that. I said, it sounds like you just needed the help. And she yeah. nodded. Yeah, that's not too much at all. Yeah, great. I asked her what um, what she needed help with in the first place before she got dumped off. And she said too many people were hurting her and she kept crying too much. Oh, okay. And so then that's when the people just drove her to this park and dropped her off. Got it. Can tell that she's really scared she's just terrified yeah. yeah can you ask her what she's afraid of now she's afraid of getting hurt again she's afraid of pain she's afraid of being ignored for needing help yeah. Yeah, let her know that you get that. Can you ask her if she needs your help with something from back then? Does she need your help? doing something over again or speaking to someone or repairing something or does she want to come with you to the present? She wants to tell the people that dropped her off that that what they did was wrong. Okay, yeah. Can, can you go with her? She wants me to tell them that, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does she want to be there for that or does she want you to just do it? She wants me to just do it. Okay. So see if you can go do that. 
And then when it's done, go you can go back to her and let her know that it's done and let her know how it went. Okay, give me just a sec. I went and talked to them and they were super ashamed that they just dumped her off in the park. Okay. Yeah. They like completely shrunk when I went over to tell them that what they did was not okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell they have a lot of issues. Okay. Now they're not very stable. Got it. And they thanked me for for taking care of her the way that she deserves. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I can go back to her now. Okay, so go back to her and let her know how that went and what they said. I told her that there's no chance that they would have been able to take care of her with all with the needs that she has. Mm -hmm. There's no chance that they would have been able to take care of anybody. Okay. Like by a landslide. There's no way. Mm -hmm. And she appreciates my honesty. Yeah, great. She looks so much better and feels so much better already. Excellent. Okay. So you might just check again if she needs something else to happen or wants to come in and present with you or wants to stay right there today. Now she's like sitting, she like wants to, I like helped her stand up and now she wants to sit on the bench in, instead of on the ground so before we were laying on the ground. Okay. So now we're standing up yeah. and, and sitting on the bench and now she has a lot of things uh, that she wants to tell me. If we're low on time though, we can, we can stop here. I don't know what time it is. No, it's okay. We've got okay. about 10 minutes left. Okay. So just stay right there with her as she's as she's telling you a lot okay she wants to tell me about all her hopes and dreams it's so sweet oh great we're just kind of talking and i'm getting excited with her and she's got like a whole new energy in her of like excitement mm -hmm. The man is still there and he's just been like watching the whole time. He doesn't know how to inter intervene or interject. Yeah. Is there anything I need to do what with she, him? What does she think about the man? I think she's kind of indifferent toward him. I think she just knows that he's been around for a while, but hasn't really helped her, but she, he hasn't hurt her either. Okay. <clears throat> We might just ask him if he still feels like his services are needed. The girl who was bleeding, she, um, she, she told him he could go and, and he agreed to go, but she like ran and gave him a hug before he left. Oh, wow. Okay. She said, thanks. Thanks for doing all that you did. Yeah. Yeah. How is that for you? That feels really good. Yeah. Great. So he left and, and, and she went back to the park bench with me. Yeah. Great.
I think I'm nervous that she's going to get excited and go out and, and follow some of these dreams. And then, and then she, um, she might get back on the bench and feel defeated again. Okay. And what would be, what would be bad about that? I think it would feel defeating because, you know, she already, she already got back up and, and, you know, was supported once. She doesn't want to, um, she doesn't want to be back on the ground and bleeding again. Okay. Is there or a fear I don't want that, her to that she, that she couldn't handle the defeat? Yeah, I think that's the fear. Yeah. Well, you might see if if that does happen, could the two of you handle it together, or could you help her handle it? The disappointment of going for something and it not working out. Yeah, I can handle it. I can help her handle it. Okay, just let her know that. I told her that we can move slowly toward the dreams to help her build, to build confidence, and and that felt good to her. Yeah, wonderful. She's just happy to not be ignored anymore. Yeah. Yeah, and that's great. Let her know she's to. not going to be ignored anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can connect to you to you now. Just let her know that. She has so much to say. She just keeps chatting. <laughs> yeah, that's great. What were you going to say? C can you ask her how old she is? She said 14. Uh -huh. And how old does she think you are? She thinks I'm 30. Okay. <laughs> you can let her know you're 27. <laughs> she thinks I'm so cool. <laughs> Great. She's happy to have my help. Yeah. I think I want to bring her into the present now. Okay. I would just ask her if, if she's interested in that. Ask her if she's ready for that. It's up to her. Yeah, she feels, um, she feels safe as long as she has me. That, yeah. Okay. Yep, she can come into the present now. Okay. So go ahead and bring her with you. And when she's in the present with us, just ask her if she wants your help getting rid of anything, thoughts, feelings, beliefs, getting rid of anything in or around her body. It's optional. She said she still has some fears, but she just wants the guidance as we as we keep going okay yeah yeah let her know you can offer that guidance if that feels right to you yeah okay we can do that yeah great Yeah, so then you, you might just ask her where she wants to settle, whether that's somewhere real or imaginary or somewhere in your body. I think where she's saying she kind of wants to just see my life and like where I live and and look around my apartment and explore. Great. 
yeah, go with her to, to do that. Okay. Let her check out everything. Just be there with her as she experiences that. You know, so let her know this is this is hers now. Yeah, she feels happy. She just came up and, and hugged my legs. Mm, she feels free. Yeah. Yeah, great. How are you feeling toward her? I'm so happy to see her happy. Yeah. Feel yeah, relaxed. I know that. Mm hmm So as we get ready to wrap up, I want you just to let her know if this feels true to you that you're going to check on her. And I just want you to check in on her once a day for about the next 21 days. Okay. So you can just go inside, find her, see if she's still here, see if she needs anything. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> and anything crazy. you want to say before we um, hit the stop button on the recording at least maybe we can, all, we can obviously chat more after but anything else you want to say before we do that the physiological shift is insane I actually have so much energy now thanks for listening to another episode of Going Inside if you enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe wherever you're listening or watching and share your favorite episode with a friend you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at John Clark Therapy and apply to work with me one-on-one -on -one at johnclarktherapy.com. See you next time.